Hello everyone, Mr. Matimira once again. In this lesson, I am going to explain the term demand schedule, how to draw the demand curve, and explain the law of demand. Now, what is a demand schedule? A demand schedule is a table that shows the total number of goods or services that is purchased at various prices in a given period of time, ceteris paribus. What do we mean by ceteris paribus? We mean that all other factors remain unchanged. This is an assumption that, right, this is an example of a demand schedule for drinks. It shows the quantity of drinks that has been demanded at different price levels. Now, how do we draw the demand curve? We need a demand schedule for us to be able to draw the demand curve. So we are going to use this demand schedule for the drinks. Let's start with the vertical axis that we label price and number it according to the price that we have been given. Then we also uh, draw the horizontal axis that we uh, number from 100 to 600. This one is showing the quantity demanded. Always remember that quantity is recorded on the horizontal axis price is recorded on the vertical axis so we are labeling it quantity demanded and our title is demand curve for the drinks now we move on to the plotting part at a price of two rand 600 drinks were demanded so where the two meet the two rand and the 600 drinks this is where we plot we just simply put a dot here at a price of four rand 500 drinks were demanded four rand is right here 500 is right here where the two meet is where we plot like this at a price of six rand 400 drinks were uh, demanded so where the two meet is where we plot and so on until we um, plot the last point which is at a price of 12 rand 100 drinks were um, demanded now when we have finished plotting these points we simply draw a line that connects all these dots like this and we label it D, D. This is how we draw the demand curve. All right, let us talk more about the demand curve. We know how to draw it now, but there is something else that we need to understand. The demand curve has a negative slope or it slopes downwards. As you can see here, we have a demand curve right here and it slopes downwards so this is what we mean by negative slope the other thing that we need to understand is that there is an inverse meaning to say negative relationship between the price of the product and the quantity demanded what do we mean about negative relationship or inverse relationship it simply means that when the price is high like at a price of 12 rand fewer drinks were demanded but when the price is low the quantity is high so that is the inverse relationship now we explain the law of demand using the demand curve and the demand schedule. Right, what does the law of demand say? 
it states that the higher the price of a product, the lower the quantity demanded and vice versa. Meaning to say, the lower the price of the product, the higher the quantity demanded. Now, let us see if that is true. From the demand schedule here, we see that the price is low here, but the quantity demanded is high. When the price is high here, the quantity demanded is low. We can also see this uh, using the demand curve. When the price is low, the quantity demanded is high. When the price is high, the quantity demanded is low. So the law of demand says the higher the price of the product, the lower the quantity demanded. The lower the price of the product, the higher the quantity demanded. Thank you.